All right, what's going on guys? It is your boy Havoc here. Welcome to yet another tutorial on the channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make a thumbnail for your YouTube videos without Photoshop using a software known as Pixlr. Now this was suggested by quite a few of you guys. If you do have any tutorials that you would like to see next, just let me know down in the comments and I'll be sure to take a look. If this video does help you out, a like will be very much appreciated. Um, you guys, your recent support has been overwhelming, so I just want to thank you guys for that. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is click on the first link in the description, and that will take you to this page right here. And we're going to click on create a new image. And on the presets, we're going to make this the movie 720p and click on transparent, click OK. Just as a helpful tip, just to start out, to zoom in and zoom out on this program, you wanna click and hold the Alt button and scroll in and out with your mouse. And that will just help you throughout this tutorial. But the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna Google grunge backgrounds. And basically this just gives you a ton of backgrounds that I feel like will make your thumbnail look pretty good. Once you find one that you like, just click on it, click view image, and then just drag it onto your desktop and after that we're just going to click on layer open image as layer and then your image should be right here if you download it onto your desktop click open now most likely your image will be either too small or too big for the certain thumbnails so to change the scale we're going to go to edit and free transform make sure you hold the shift button or else uh, it will change the original proportions of the image so make sure you hold on that shift button and scale it to where it's relatively the same size as the thumbnail. Now using a couple of the effects on Pixlr, we can make this background look a whole lot better than what it is currently. So if you go to adjustment, go to hue and saturation and click on colorize, we can actually change the color of the background. So if you want a certain thumbnail that might be red, and then you might want to create another one that might be green, you can do so. I'm gonna make this kind of purple. And there's another effect that you can also use to make your backgrounds look a lot better, and that's brightness and contrast. I really like to use contrast because that just like pops the background out. It's really up to your preference. Uh, you obviously don't want to do that, um, but I kind of like it probably somewhere around there. And there's one more kind of effect that I like to use for my backgrounds, and that is the blur right here. I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm not even gonna attempt. And you can pretty much blur the background image, and I feel like this makes the text pop out more. So I'm gonna blur it pretty much to about, I think, 25. And I think that's pretty good right there. So there's one final thing that I wanna do to the background, and that is kind of make the border a little darker. So I'm going to click on new layer right here, and I'm gonna click on this rectangle tool right here. Make sure it's on the rectangle, and I'm just going to eyeball this, but I'm just gonna make a rectangle right here, maybe right here, right here. And it, I mean, if you want to have a bigger border, like more width, that's fine. So after we do that, we're going to go to filter, Caucasian blur, however you pronounce that, I guess. And I'm probably gonna make it about, I would say around there. All right, so now that we're finished with the background, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the text. So I'm gonna create a new layer, click on this text icon right here and click anywhere on the screen. And for instance, for this thumbnail, I'm basically making the thumbnail for this video. So I'm going to say how to make, I'm going to leave a link down below. It'll be the second link and it'll take you to a website where you can get uh, free fonts um, because personally I don't like the default fonts on any of these programs and I'm using a font that I downloaded so I'll leave a link down below in case you guys want to download this font and make your thumbnail look a little better. We're gonna change the size to 130 as big as we can and change the color to white so it pops out more. Click OK. Okay, so now we're going to right click on the layer and go to layer styles and change the outer glow to 100 opacity, 10 hardness, and about 10 size, and change the color to black. Now if you wanna make your text look a tiny bit better, uh, you can go ahead and add a drop shadow. 
So we're gonna make this drop shadow 100 opacity, five distance, and a size of about 10. And I think that text looks pretty good right there. Click OK. And we can go ahead and duplicate the layer, drag that down to here, and click on the text icon to change the text. Click on the text right here, and then we can change it to thumbnail. Click OK. You can move that right about there. And we're gonna go ahead and duplicate the layer one last time and move it down a little so we can actually see. Click on the text icon, actually click on the text and change it to for free, exclamation point. We're gonna change the font to blow brush. Uh, that's another font that I will put and that will be the third link in the description for you guys to download and install. And if you wanna change the color like I am right now, just click on this color icon and you can actually move this a little further down to different parts of the color spectrum and go ahead and move this central uh, circle down to where it is actually purple. And there it is, you can see what it, what it actually looks like, but we, I mean, as you can see, you can change it to whatever color you really want. So now that we have the text and it's not necessarily centered, um, as you can see, the text isn't big enough and I've had this problem multiple times, but I've actually fixed it. Um, because as you as you may have noticed, um, this is the biggest size that you can put the font, but you can actually make it bigger through a certain method. So I'm going to go to uh, whatever layer text you wanna make bigger, right click, go to rasterize layer, and you can go to free transform. And you, basically you can make sure you're holding shift, but you can make the text a little bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and make it just about right there. Click OK. I'm going to move it a tiny bit further up, right, right about there. And do the same thing for every single layer. Make it relatively the same size for both of these. And center as well. And last but not least, this last layer. Now once you have it to the right skill, you can go ahead and just make sure everything's all centered up. So I will just go ahead and do that right here. One last touch up that I wanna do to this thumbnail is I'm gonna go back to Google and search up grunge sunburst black ground black and white and i found this one right here and once you get it installed and downloaded onto your computer onto your desktop go back to pixlr go to layer open image as layer go ahead and open up that image and there it is right there and here it is right here and i'm just going to go ahead and make sure it's underneath all my text right there and i also want to put it underneath this border right here now to change the opacity, we can click on this button right here, and I'm gonna change that to probably about, I would say around 20 or so. And then you can click off of that as well. And one last adjustment that I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to filter and click on this blur right here, 40 to 60, somewhere around there, click okay. And I think that makes the thumbnail look a lot better. It makes it look more professional. Um, but other than that, I think it looks pretty good. Once you feel like your thumbnail's looking good and it's all finished, go to File, Save, and we're gonna save it as a JPEG or PNG. JPEG is preferable. We're gonna up the quality all the way to 100. And you can change the name if you want. So I'm gonna name it Thumbnail. Click OK and make sure it's on your desktop or wherever uh, you want to put it. Click Save and there it is. It should be on your desktop. There it is right here. And you can go ahead and open it up and it looks pretty good to me. And I hope you guys did enjoy the tutorial. If you did, be sure to drop a like and also be sure to subscribe for future tutorials. And just let me know what tutorials you would like to see next. It's been your boy Havoc here. And I'm out. Peace.